Hi there, this is Stephanie Treasure, online marketing strategist and business mentor to women coaches, consultants, and service-based providers. Welcome to this live stream. Happy Tuesday, happy second day of March. As I'm recording this, I'm really happy that you're here, even as you're watching me on the replay. I know I do get quite a bit of replay viewers, and I'm happy that you've given me your time and, and given your business your attention to um, be here on this live stream. I don't take that for granted. And I show up fully here every single Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to share with you all things business, marketing, mindset, visibility, productivity, and all the things in between. And today is no less, as I'm really excited about today's topic, where I'm going to be sharing five reasons why you should be making at least six figures in your business. And I'm going to be revealing an exciting new resource that I know that you're going to love. So as you're joining me here, even on the replay, go ahead and comment below and let me know that you're here. Share with me where you're logging in from as I like to have a pulse on where, you know, how far and wide is the reach of these live streams of this group, you know, where, where we're covering geographically. I know that I serve clients world round uh, virtually and I want to know who's here in the group, who's taking part, who's watching these live streams. So go ahead, don't be shy. Come Comment below and let me know where you're logging in from. Share either your city and state if you're logging in from the US or your city and country if you're logging in from outside of the US. I'm logging in outside of, from outside of the US. I'm lo uh, joining you here or streaming here from a beautiful Kingston, Jamaica. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day, bustling day, busy day. You may hear some sounds around me. Uh, you know, if I'm live, that's how it is. You're gonna hear things from time to time. Don't mind that, but I do wanna hear from you, all right? So as I said, I'm logging in from Kingston, Jamaica. And when you do get a chance after you let me know where you're logging in from, I'd also love to know what you do. So go and go ahead and share with me your expertise, share with me your elevator pitch, if you will, or just your title. Either will work. Um, I like to, again, just know who's here, what you do. I serve all kinds of coaches, consultants, and service providers. I want to hear about what you are doing in the world through your business. All right. So let me go ahead and double check on some tech. As you're commenting, again, even on the replay, I wanna make sure that everything is streaming as it should be in the Facebook group. So I normally go over, do a little check on the live there. So bear with me a moment as I do that. Okay, I haven't seen the live stream just yet. Give, uh, give me a minute. But as I said, just go ahead and let me know that you're here by commenting on the live stream. Let me know where you're logging in from and share with me what you do. Let me refresh the group screen here. Okay, there I am. The live stream just yet. Okay. Give me a minute. So you're but probably I hearing said, me. Let me remove volume. Okay, great, great, great. All right. So I am live in the group as well. Perfect. All right. So we're talking about six figures in your business, right? Uh, why six figures? And I'm going to be sure with you why, you know, uh, you know, you hear people talking about, uh, you know, making six figures and um, in some cases talking about the things that it allows them to buy and, you know, why, you know, well, not really why, but um, sharing, you know, the numbers, what they're making. And I have spoken to a few of you here in the group, in my community. I have conversations from time to time with persons from my email list, persons here in the group, or persons following me on social media. And for the most part, you know, especially us as women, you know, we're nurturers, you know, we're family oriented. 
we just want to make enough, you know, whatever enough means, usually enough to uh, pay the bills, possibly enough to travel as well, you know, uh, buy gifts for the grandkids or, or you know, buy, you know, uh, provide experience for the kids, et cetera, depending on the stage or phase of life that you are. And, you know, some persons may be thinking, you know, 5K per month is enough um, or 3K per month is enough. And I want to put forward to you a thought, right? And this is my thoughts. This is my uh, feeling um, based on my expertise and some life experiences. And I want to put this forward to you and you can make your own, you know, decision assessment based on what you've heard. Uh, see where this measures up for you. But I'm going to be sharing with you why I, I believe that you should be aiming for at least six figures in your business, the kind of experiences that it will bring about, the reasons uh, for this, so that you can take this into consideration and see whether you need to shift, um, you know, and, and start aiming for six figures. And also I want to share with you a little bit of the how, right? And I'm going to share with you the how in the... Um, through a resource that I've made available uh, that can support you in this respect. So stay with me to the end as I'm gonna reveal that, that resource. So this is for you if you're a coach, consultant, or service provider, you're working with clients one-on-one, -on -one, uh, or you're working with clients both one-on-one -on -one and in group coaching experiences, or you're looking to add group coaching experiences to your uh, packages, or looking to, you, maybe you already have the idea for it, but you're looking to uh, sell more of that those spots, but you're definitely working, you're definitely a solopreneur, um, and you are not at six figures just yet, all right? but you have worked with some clients, right? You're definitely gonna find this useful. And I really want you to hear the reasons that I'm gonna put forward with you, to you. Um, because like I said, I want you to start thinking in this way and thinking about these other experiences or circumstances or situations to see how you may be holding yourself back possibly possibly playing a smaller game than you should be playing and why you should be playing a bigger game, um, really aiming for that six figure milestone um, as your comfort zone, probably staying at you know early six figures between one and 100 and 200,000 per year or looking to continue to scale and grow beyond that, all right? So I, um, hey there, Becky, thank you for joining me. So I'm going to go through, I have some handy dandy notes here that I've put together. I promise you I'm paying attention. I just have a little notepad below eye level here of the camera that I'm going to refer to from time to time, just so that I keep on track, share with you what you really, um, what I really want to convey in this message, because I really want for you to get this. And if you have any questions at all, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what those are. I can answer them interactively here while I'm live. If you post the questions during that, that window, if you are watching the replay, you can still post your questions and I'll answer them afterwards. All right. So the five reasons, right, why you should be making at least six figures in your business, um, I'm just going to go through the number, the numbered items. Number one, when you're at the six-figure business um, milestone or the six-figure milestone in your business, it goes without saying that you're helping more people, right? Um, even if you're doing this one-on-one, -on -one, I, I know persons that have gotten to six figures just working with one-on-one -on -one clients, right? And that could look like, um, you know, upwards of 10 or 15 clients per year, depending on the, the, the pricing of your packages, right? Uh, maybe 15 to 20 um, persons uh, for the year, right? Um, let me see how much that would be actually. I think that's about 5K per let me see. Let me just do a little bit of math. Ah, uh, no, that was wrong. Just, just for argument's sake, one second. 
Okay. So if you are, if your packages are five thousand dollars per um, for to work with private clients, and that's twenty clients for the year. If it is. If it's three thousand um, dollars per person, then it's thirty-three clients for the year, right? Um, but it's possible to get there with um, private coaching only. But if you have a group program, then it's then it's even um, you know you'll be able to divide between the two. But naturally, you're helping more people, and it's important for you, right? Based on your expertise and the work that you're doing, and the people who need this kind of work. Right, because you've seen it. The the clients that you have worked with, you've seen them make transformations in their lives. You've you've seen them benefit from the coaching that you have to offer. You've seen people coming to you, or or have had clients come to you saying, "Oh my gosh, I'm really so glad I found you because I really really needed this." Uh, if you're a web designer, I really really needed somebody uh, who's a web designer who gets my my vision, who can bring it for, uh, to fruition, and have me build a website that I'm just so happy with, and people can connect with, know what I do, uh, get the feel for my brand, and you know learn about my services, be able to contact me, all the things that a website is supposed to do, right? So you see that there are people right now that really need your services. And when you are able to serve um, those people and more of those people, you have a chance to make a bigger impact. These are people who are mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, uh, siblings. They are um, persons who have their own businesses, possibly if you're working B2B, or persons who are working, uh, who have their own careers, who are impacting others' lives through the work that they do. And when you're, you support them to get that specific issue solved, whether it's for website design, or money mindset, or uh, weight loss, or health, you help them to show up better in the world as well, right? So the more people that you can help with your services, the better right? The more of an impact you're making. And I talk a lot about impact in this group because I really want you to wrap your mind around the fact that you're in business, you're in a for-profit business, you're not a non-profit, but the work that you're doing are changing lives. And when you change lives, those persons become better people to serve in all the capacities, some of which I mentioned, that they have to serve as people in the world. And it's a ripple effect, right? The more people you help, the better they can be, the better they can um, help their community, help their family, um, give back, and all the things that, you know, all the hats that they wear and all the places that they need to show up as their best selves. And they can do that with your service and your support, right? So yes, you're helping more people, not from the standpoint where you're making more money. Yes, you're going to be making more money as a result, but you're helping more people in the sense where you're making a bigger impact. And yes, as a business owner, this should matter to you. This should be important to you because, again, you're not, we're not, no, no man is an island. We're not just serving for ourselves. We're serving to um, be rewarded, but we're serving because we have work to do. You know, we're, we're fulfilling purpose. We are using our gifts to give back, give back, right? Each service provider that you are paying funds to right now to help you are also fulfilling purpose, also helping more people. You know, frontline workers, um, psychologists, um, you know, other professionals, right? They're doing their part, they're fulfilling purpose and they're impacting and changing lives as well, right? So I want you to wrap your mind around the fact that you're a business owner, you're in um, your fulfilling purpose and you have a duty, you have a mission, you have a purpose to change lives. And the more lives that you can change, the more the work that you do can have an impact on making the world that we all live in that we all have to co-occupy together a better place, right? So that's number one, not what you thought, right? But yes, this is a reason why you should be aiming to make at least six figures in your business. That's what I'm putting forward here today, right? Number one is you're helping more people when you're at that level. 
The second thing, again, may not be what you think, is that you can hire a team or you're, when you're at that level, you are at a point where you can hire a team or a bigger team if you already have you know, a couple of team members that you're working with right now. When I say team, I mean um, either employees or contractors that support your business. But again, back to point number two, you have the ability at the six figure mark or milestone, right? Or within the environs of it, you know, a little bit uh, give or take, right? Where you can hire a team and that supports the economy, right? Because you're providing jobs, you're providing work for others who are able to pay taxes with those funds, able to reinvest or, or put those funds back into the economy and support other services, right? And help the economy to grow. Whether you are supporting persons in your local company, so let's just say if you're based in the US and you're hiring uh, US contractors and, and employees, or the world economy, if you're hiring contractors that are based world over, right? You are able to support the economy when you're at or, you know, approaching or as you approach the six-figure mark in your business, but certainly at the six-figure mark, you're serving more people, you're making more money, you're needing more support in your business because you can't do it all. And so you're able to take on people and provide more jobs, which supports the economy. A colleague of mine, uh, we just had a Facebook chat last evening and she um, she says that she's been working 13, 14 hour days. And, you know, cause she's, you know, doing some new things in her business and, you know, there's more work and it's kind of a busy period right now. And she says she just hired two people. And firstly, her first thought is, okay, they'll be able to take some things off my plate so that I can, you know, step back a little bit. But also she's providing jobs, right? These are two persons who are going to, um, again, inject funds back into the economy as they take care of themselves and their family, right? So you're doing your part as a local citizen, as a world citizen by supporting the economy when you're at the six figure level and you can hire more of a team to support you, right? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. If you can really, you know, and I wanna encourage you to, to look at team as not just an expense. It's an expense, it's a line item under the expenses um, category. But you're, again, giving back to the economy, you're um, supporting others who are, um, are making money to support their own families, right? So I actually look forward to paying my team and I pay them with pleasure um, because these are, they're, they're supporting me, they're doing me a service by taking things off my plate and I'm able to support them to have experiences in their personal lives or other business life, however, however they are giving back, I'm able to support them as they support the economy, paying taxes and, and different ways that they use those funds that they, they earn from working for me, right? So that's number two, right? You should be making at least six figures in your business because you're able to hire more of a team which supports the economy which again is your duty as a local and world citizen, right? So that's number, so number one and two, if you can resonate with that and really see it, if that has given you a new perspective, go ahead and comment below and let me know, right? Comment number one or two or both. Number three is you'll have more to give back to important causes that depend on the, on the support of charitable givers. You'll have more to give back if you're at six figures in your business, here's why you should be at least at least uh, six at at least six figures in your business is because you'll have more to give back to important causes that depend on the, depend on the support of charitable givers, right? And I'm sure many of you are either members of or are somehow affiliated directly or indirectly with organizations like this who really survive and need to thrive 
on the charitable support of their members or you know public at large right churches uh some hospitals uh you know foundations you know for cancer research and things like that right i don't know how you're spending your money but you know one good way that i like to spend my money is to be able to give back to causes right um to be able to tithe right I, you know i'm christian and, and so i believe in tithing right i'm able to tithe and to tithe tithe more handsomely and really support the organizations that support me actually in terms of my you know my psychological uh welfare you know i get some you know psychological uh benefit um from being a part of a church organization that you know where i uh, interact with other people where i um learn um from that organization right and so i happily give um when it's time to give, you know, when I have an opportunity to give back to that organization, um, charities, right, um, fundraising activities, all that, all that, all depend on um, funding, um, donations to survive, right? When you are at six figures in your business, or when you're being paid handsomely. Right, you're bringing in money in your business. Uh, you're at a profit. You're able to make more money or pay yourself more money and be able to give back to these causes. If there's a cause that you're supporting right now that you're passionate about, right? Whether it's cancer research, St. Jude's, um, a church, I'd love to hear what that is. What's important to you? Uh, trafficking. There's somebody that I follow on Instagram right now. What's her name again? She's really. Um, it's Rebecca, Rebecca Bender, who was a victim of child trafficking many years ago. Now she has a family and she has an organization that she's a part of that helps people and rescues uh, people who are uh, sex trafficked, right? But what's a cause that's important to you that you're giving to right now from what you're making? But if you can imagine if you were at six figures, how much more you would be able to give? right? Possibly 20,000, right? This to say 20,000 was, um, you know, a fraction of, and, you know, say you had a, a line item or, or, a, for, or a formula as um, Mike McCallowitz in the Profit First, um, who wrote Profit First, recommends a formula by which you allocate funds, you know, funds that you're going to pay yourself, funds that you're going to put back in the business, uh, savings for the business, um, business development, and even charitable causes. If you are at six figures in your business, after you've paid yourself, paid your team and expenses, how much would you be able to give to that favorite charity of yours? And how would that make you feel to be able to give back in that way? Right? I'd love to hear the answer to that. Good morning, Stephanie. Good to see you here. Thank you so much for the hearts. Right, so if there's a charitable cause, Stephanie or Becky, I'd love to hear um, what that is, right? That you are really passionate about, that you'd love to give more to, go ahead and comment with that, right? And if you're watching me on the replay, go ahead and comment as well, I'd love to hear from you, right? So that's number three. Again, not your typical reason, but I dare say that these are valid reasons why you should be aiming for that six figure milestone in your business if you're not there as yet. So that's number three. And again, if you can resonate with these, comment below. So uh, number one is you're, you're able to help more people. Number two is you're able to hire a team and give back to the economy and support the economy. Number three is you're able to give back to important causes that depend on donations to survive and thrive. Number four, Right, this one you may get a little bit more excited about, but I think you should be excited about the first three anyway. Um, number four is, and I'll read this for my notes word for word. You deserve to be financially supported to not just survive, but to thrive and therefore be able to give fully to your clients and transform even more lives, right? 
that's a reason that you should be aiming for at least six figures in your business, right? So that you can be financially supported because the work that you're doing is important. It does change lives, right? And you should be handsomely rewarded for that. And at six figures, right, minimum, you'll be able to pay yourself an amount that can help you to not just survive, but to thrive and do the things that make you come alive so that you can give more to your clients and be more present for them and help them to make even more and better transformations. Also, you can, uh, you'll have money or at least have more of a budget, you know, at the six figure level, but your align item, if you will, which is a percentage, percentage of gross sales, to be able to give back or, or, or invest in business development, personal development, um, experiences like masterminds or private coaching that make you a better coach so that you can show up even more and better for your own clients, right? Thereby providing better client experiences and of course, better transformations. When you're at a place where you're barely making ends meet, number one, you can't afford to invest in coaching if that's the case. And you're in a place where your cup is not full, so you're not able to give, um, you know, pour out, pour out into others as you should be able to because your, your, your own cup is depleted, right? Uh, I used to work in the airline business I worked for American Airlines uh, several years ago. And of course, you know, if, and if you've traveled at least once, you've heard them say um, when they're giving the uh, safety instructions uh, for the flight, the flight attendant always says, if there's an emergency or, um, or where, where, you know, there's a need for us to give you extra oxygen, an oxygen mask will, will drop from the top, um, grab it, and um, put your, if you're traveling with a child, put your mask on first and then um, help the child with theirs, right? Taking care of yourself first. And so to really take care of your clients, you need to take care of yourself, right? Um, holistically, you know, um, with the things that, you know, you need to survive and thrive, as well as from a business standpoint, continuing to invest and reinvest in coaching experiences that will help you to be a better coach and show up in a better and bigger way for your clients, which will allow them to have better results, better experiences, create more success stories, and you'll be able to bring on even more and better clients as well, right? So you need to, to uh, you deserve to be financially supported, right? Which you can truly do at the six figure milestone mark and beyond. Right? That's number four. Let me get a number four in the comments if that resonates with you. Right? Okay. So that's number four. And even if you're watching the replay, go ahead and comment below, right? And number five, right? Number five reason why you should be making at least six figures in your business. And that is so that you can reinvest more in your business, especially in reach and exposure, which allows you to help even more people exponentially, right? The more money you make, the more you can reinvest in the business and, and give it the legs and the support and the foundation and the tools and the resources that will take it even further. You possibly don't have a budget for ads right now. If you did, right, in terms of a budget for ads and a budget for um, the expertise and experience um, ads manager that can truly help you to get the best on your buck, um, to get the best bang for your buck, You'd be able to um, hire them to bring on more people, create experiences where you're able to help, um, you know, create some leveraged programs, some more group programs that can bring even, let's just say, even 100 people at a time into your programs, right? 
so that you're helping more of those people uh, as you in are you able to reach more people and able to fill your programs with those amounts of people because you're able to invest in reach and exposure through Facebook ads and that's just one way right but the more money that you can reinvest in your business the more possibilities exist for you to serve people for you to even bring on team for you to pay yourself more for you to um, help more people definitely right um, when if whenever you start a brick and mortar business, you know you want to just get the business directed. You just want to get things moving, but for, and you want to make sure that you can pay the bills each month, the light bill, you know, all the things that come with it. But you want to enhance that over time as well. Possibly upgrade your location, right? There's a place that I do my girly stuff at, my waxes, nails, and all those things that was at a smaller location for several years. And they recently moved to a really nice, big, expansive buildings. And, you know, the rooms that you're, you do your experiences in are like, you know, further apart. And it's nice and spacious and air conditioned. And just, you know, the experience is just so much better at this bigger location than where they were before. So they've reinvested into that business to provide even a, a, an even better experience for their customers, right? So likewise, you want to be continually improving, upgrading, enhancing, doing more, providing, looking for ways, again, that you can provide a better client experience. And you can do that once you're at a place where you're making at least six figures in your business, then look to get to the multiple six figure mark and go beyond, right? So that when people come, when your clients, would-be clients, come in the door, the red carpet is rolled out and they have an experience, not just from working with you and learning the tools that they need to have better lives, but just that overall experience is just world, you know, first class. Um, that really helps them to have that some feel that something extra from working with you, right? You should have a, a dream or a vision for what that looks like at every stage of your business. You know, when you're at, you know, this level, then you'll be able to, you know, fly clients in for free. Or, um, you know, when you have your retreats, you'll be able to have your retreat instead of at your local, um, let's say you have in-person retreats, post-COVID or way, way, way post-COVID, right? And let's just say you normally have it at, you know, just a local hotel, possibly, you know, when you're at six figures and beyond, right? You know, a vision that you, you have that you could fulfill is having that retreat in Bali or right here in beautiful Jamaica, right? When you keep reinvesting in your business and growing it more, right? you're able to create these kinds of experiences that really make it first class, not only for your clients, but even for you, because there's some joy in, in delivering that experience, delivering your retreats, you know, depending on location that, you know, would feel good for you as well, would have a benefit for you as well. You could bring your family along, possibly, you know, turn it into an extended vacation. You know, once the retreat is over, then you can spend some time with them right? Possibilities are endless, right? Growing your business in terms of where you grow it to, that should be endless because you, you know, even once you get to six figures, you should be looking to get to multiple six figures, seven figures and eight figures, right? And so your, your, your income potential is truly endless if you'll allow it to be. And the, the possibilities in terms of the client experience is endless as well. Right. As you grow, then you're able to do more and show up more in different ways and truly, um, like I said, and enhance that client experience. So that's number five. Let me know if that resonates with you. And if you've ever thought about doing an in-person retreat, what's your dream location? I'd love to know that. Right. I have never had an in-person retreat. I've had in-person workshops here in Jamaica, in Kingston, Jamaica. But one dream of mine, one client experience that I want to bring about is having an in-person retreat 
in Montego Bay, Jamaica, right? Which is the part of the island here that has all of the resorts and the, you know, the five-star hotel uh, experiences, um, you know, nice uh, pools with, with, you know, swim up bars and, um, you know, beaches right there on the property. Beautiful, right? So let me know what your dream location is. If, if you've ever thought of delivering a retreat, where would you like to be able to host that retreat? And even if you're watching the replay, feel free to comment. Right? So as you mold that over, and I hope I've allowed you to dream and vision what this could look like for you. I'm gonna do a quick recap of the five reasons why you should be making at least six figures in your business. And then I'm gonna be sharing with you an exciting resource to help you to do that. So number one is, you're able to help more people at that level. The more people you help, the more lives you change, and the better the world that we live in. Because these are the same people that are serving us in different ways right now in the world. If not serving you directly, they're definitely serving others, other local citizens and world citizens, right? Number two is you're able to hire a team and support the economy, right? Um, so that's number two. Number three is at the six figure level, you'll be able to give more back to important causes that depend, that can only survive based on tra charitable donations. And there's important outfits out there, important organizations, not-for-profit organizations that need our support, that are doing good work, meaningful work, right? That need the support of you and me another, you know, John Q citizen to give them charitable donations so that they can do the important work that they're doing in this world. That means something to me. I hope it means something to you as well. Number four is you're, you, you deserve to be financially supported to not just survive, but to thrive so that you're able to give fully to your clients and transform even more lives right? Once you're supported and you're rewarded as you should be, right? You'll be able to invest more in your own development, like in coaching experiences that, again, allow you to show up better and more for your clients, right? And number five is you're able to reinvest more in your, in your business and be able to grow your business, be able to invest in Facebook ads or, um, you know, in-person retreat experiences, once there's no, you know, not some major travel bans as there are, they are right now with COVID-19. So you'll be able to um, possibly, you know, have retreats in exotic locations and thereby, again, just really enhance and uh, those kind experiences, having your clients be able to get away and really immerse themselves in the information, the training that you have to share with them before they go back home. And when they go back, they're able to give fully in their own businesses or in their lives, having been enriched from the experience that you hosted for them, right? So those are the five things. And if you have any questions on that, definitely let me know. So for the big reveal, I'm going to see if I can share my screen. Get ready. Okay, you should now be seeing my screen. I feel like I'm revealing my brand new baby to you. And in a, in a sense, this is my baby because I haven't been birthing it or working on it for nine months, but it feels like nine months. So I've been busy behind the scenes, bringing you a brand new summit event that is totally free for you called the Next Level Secrets for a Six-Figure Business. 
where 21 influencers share strategies and mindset for doing business at a higher level and making a bigger impact. I am excited to announce this event that I've been working on for quite some months now, right? That starts on March 15th. It's a five day virtual summit. And if you're not familiar with the summit model, let me tell you how it will work. Once you register for this summit, which is absolutely free, right? You're going to, um, well, the summit really is me partnering, partnering with 20 of my colleagues in business, right? And I have, uh, they, they have put together some presentations which they're delivering interview style with me interviewing them and really getting down and getting out of them the goods and the strategies behind their uh, six-figure, multiple six-figure, and in some cases, their seven-plus-figure businesses, right? They have partnered with me to bring you these interviews, which is, are going to be taking place over the course of five days. And you're going to have access to not only these these interview style presentations, but you're also going to get business tools to accompany those those presentations. Pretty much interactive, you know, plug and play types of resources so that you can implement what you've learned and start making your own plan towards bringing in um, uh, or, or implementing a strategy that will be a part of what you'll implement as you work towards your own six-figure milestone, right? So you're going to learn um, business building. Um, you're going to get 20-plus business building insights, success formulas, step-by-step -step strategies, right? Pretty much the behind-the-scenes strategies for these six-figure multiple, uh, six-figure and seven-figure businesses through these uh, interviews, uh, these presentations and discussions, right? So over the five days, you'll get access to these uh, interviews and resources. And here are some of the people that are joining me on this event. My friend and colleague, Valerie Del Grosso, uh, Krista, friend and colleague from way back, um, Ida, Mary, uh, Dr. Naima Jackson, who's going to be teaching you, uh, sharing with you her six-figure uh, sales secrets, uh, Felicia Cersei, Sir Sir <laughs> sorry, Carla Rieger, Renee Rebar, Mary Zarnecki, Virginia Muskis, Holly Gillen, Malika Malhotra, Lisa Mannion, Jeanette Ortega, Lizzie Fox, Amy Walker, Heather Allison, Laura West, Jenneth Blackheart, and Anna Franson. And actually, there's one more that I'm finalizing with Tony Kaufman that I'm going to be adding to this lineup. And I'd love for you to join us. You're going to learn so much. Uh, you're going to be able to, like I said, get access to these interviews and you'll get access to the resources, which is just as valuable as the interviews themselves, which are golden, right? I am very conversational in my interviews and I like to break things down, get to the, to the nitty gritty, get the goods. And I truly did that with our guests here who are sharing things um, around the gamut as it relates to sales, video marketing, doing virtual events, um, doing... Um, creating webinars and challenges and those kinds of experiences to have um, um, five-figure and, and six-figure launches, right? Branding information, um, public speaking, visibility, and so, so, so much more. So all you have to do is go to this page. It's called, um, even though you see this part here, you can actually get there by just clicking, uh, navigating rather to Next Level Secrets event. Com. I'm actually going to put that link in the, um, I'll put it for you in the comment section, right? NextLevelSecretsEvent.com and register for free now, right? Hold your spot. Uh, even though we don't get started until March 15th, the five days are going to go by very quickly. So register for net from now and make sure that you take advantage of this resource. Like I said, I didn't birth this baby, right? Because I feel like this event is a baby of mine. I didn't exactly birth it for nine months, but it felt like it, right? This is quite an undertaking. And even for the persons that are joining me on this event, they gave up their time from their um, 
your six figure, multiple six figure, and in some cases, seven figure businesses to sit with me to bring you this resource. So I invite you to sign up and register and join us. Uh, I invite you to make sure that you really listen and take notes from these interviews. And I encourage you to download the accompanying resources, the accompanying business tools, and not just download it and file it away and keep it on your, you know, in your downloads folder in your computer, but actually implement. These are resources, high value resources that will support you towards, you know, that specific aspect um, that will be, you know, part of your puzzle, part of your plan towards creating your six-figure business. Of course, you're watching this live stream right here in this existing community, but the community part is even important, is, is, is also important because you'll be able to network with and meet other persons who are signed up for this summit, who are attendees for this summit, who are committed to their own six-figure milestone in their business, and you'll be able to you know, possibly meet each other offline in a coffee chat, possibly collaborate with each other. I have had people in, in this group who came together, met each other, you know, because they introduced themselves here in the group, got to know what each other did, found some synergies and were able to take it offline and, and collaborate together. You could find experiences like that. Uh, you may even find persons who um, would be an accountability partner for you and so much more. So the community aspect is important and just as valuable. So go ahead and register for free on this page. I'm going to put the link in the comment section. And I really look forward to uh, seeing you there. Let me stop the share. And I'm going to put the link in the comments section. And if you have any questions, go ahead and um, comment below, whether from what I shared here today or from the big reveal that I just shared with you. While I queue this up for the comment section. But I am very, very excited about this. I know, I, I get excited about bringing you these resources. When I was starting out in business, resources like these gave me inspiration, you know, showed me what's possible, gave me strategies that I was able to implement, introduced me to, the, to other people that I would not have met otherwise, where I have been able to um, utilize, you know, either what I've learned or um, what I've implemented or those experiences or um, the people that I met rather um, and, and made something of it, you know, you know either collaborations or um, strategies that I implemented as I, as I mentioned, right? So it's powerful being a part of events like this, um, whether it's virtual or live, in this case it's virtual, uh, but it's no less valuable. And I invite you to join me and join the other attendees on this free summit event, right? Again, it's called Next Level Secrets for a six-figure business where 21 influencers share strategies and mindset for doing business at a higher level and making a bigger impact. We get started on March 15th. It only runs for five days. After that, the interviews will not be available. So um, I invite you to sign up right now. Um, make it a point to attend. Um, you know, make sure that you, you're going to get daily emails with, with the access links to each um, interview so that you can uh, be able to watch it in full as well as you're going to get the access link to the 21 plus business tools which I, are just as valuable and will really help you to implement what you've learned today. Uh, these entrepreneurs that have partnered with me have really, like I said, given up their time, um, given their energy and given their resources to make this impactful for you and for your business. Uh, it was my pleasure to bring them uh, together to do this. And um, I'm truly grateful that they saw my vision and helped me to bring it to life. And I'm truly happy now to bring this packaged uh, summit, this experience to you, all right? So I'm going to leave you with that. Let me see if there are any questions.
You are absolutely welcome. You're welcome, Becky. It is my pleasure. I'm so happy that you're going to be able to benefit from this resource. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Like I said, this is something that I've been working on and I'm really happy to bring here uh, for you. Uh, this is part of what I do, bringing together, bringing uh, to the fore experiences like this as I continue to grow my own business and um, impact others' lives as well as the economy and many of the things that I shared here with you today in this live stream. I hope you found it not just not, I hope you're inspired. Uh, but not just inspired in terms of you may think about this for the next few hours or for the rest of the day, but I want you to be inspired to take action. First action step is to sign up for the summit. Um, your next action step will be to attend the summit when it starts March 15th to, to 19th virtually. You'll receive, e receive emails from me once you sign up so you know what that means to attend, right? And then make sure that you implement what you learn. All right. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you soon.